Do you ever have an idea that's so bad it makes you stop and wonder, is this a garbage idea or is it genius? I had one of those and in retrospect, it's not great, but it's technically feasible. So here are a couple things you definitely shouldn't do with your multimeter, but also you could, you could. A multimeter is a tool for measuring signals, right? Wrong. It's also a constant current source. Simply put it into resistance measurement mode and change the range. Look, this DMM is trying to measure resistance and we can measure the current output with another DMM. This is where baby DMMs come from. A DMM measures resistance by sourcing a known current and then measuring the voltage drop. But what if you didn't measure resistance? Now you just have a constant current source. Sure, it's only one milliamp max, but it's pretty precise. It would be perfect for a... Uh, Measuring resistance? Here's the current output over the different resistance ranges. The test current is so small because that minimizes the power dissipation in the load. Normally your DMM is trying to minimize its impact on the system it's testing unless you're using it as a current source. Please don't use it as a current source. <laughs> Why am I doing this video? Uh... You can also get a pretty decent voltage source in diode check mode. Now this next one's just... Bah and it's more for handhelds. If you ever find yourself in a situation that you need to short together two things and don't have a wire, but you have your DMM and you get this crazy, wonderful, terrible idea. Use the DMM as a jumper wire. Why not set up my DMM to measure current, which is basically a short. A DMM measures current using an internal shunt resistor. It measures the voltage across the shunt and boom, it knows what the current is running through it. Also, boom, there's too much current running through your DMM and your fuse will blow. Now maybe that's better than blowing up the device you were testing, but it's still a pretty awful way to short two things together. It's a terrible idea and you shouldn't do it. <laughs> Don't do this. But also it's technically feasible. You could. Let's try it. I have my power supply set to five volts, 10 amps in my trusty vector network analyzer. Just when you thought this video couldn't get any worse. I'm not gonna do that. We can test it with our continuity mode. It works. I'm always trying to log away knowledge nuggets for the obscure times I might need them. I recommend putting these ideas on the highest dustiest shelf in your brain, like up here. However, if you end up using any of these tips, you are solemnly obligated to come back and comment on this video. If you'd rather forget this entire video existed, you are also solemnly obligated to comment on this video. Just, just let me have it, rip into me. I probably deserve it for putting you through this. As a consolation, it's not too late to sign up to win free test gear like this, including this gear as part of Keysight University Live. The link is down below. Some of today's winners are here, Come join me for the event. It's a ton of fun and it's almost over. If you want a more thorough DMM video or have a better DMM tip than these, leave a comment below. And remember, these are not great ideas, but if you, uh, you might, you might, you might use them. You might, you might. Bye. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay, let's do this.